it was Memorial Day uh, a few years back, and they, I guess some people were shooting off some fireworks, and one landed right on my front doorstep. And me and my wife, we had all the lights out, we were watching a movie, and I snapped and just went into kind of infantry mode, and, and I kind of threw her on the ground, told her to get down. That initial fear, that healthy fear that everybody needs to have in combat, um, that wasn't there anymore. And that combined, that, uh, that lack of fear and then coming back from that deployment and having even more severe anger issues, personal issues, and really bad anxiety. I'm like, hey, I gotta do something about this because this isn't normal. You know, when you start going to bars and getting in trouble and you know, I was arrested once and that kind of stuff, then it's like, okay, yeah, I need to calm down and figure out what's going on and get myself taken care of. I was suffering in silence and I was allowing myself to um, become more and more depressed and less and less functional in my everyday existence. So much so that my family became extremely concerned and um, they suggested that I go to the VA. I wanted to die. Because I couldn't, I couldn't find any, I couldn't get a job. I was in pain. You know, I didn't want to be bothered with anybody. My life was falling apart with my wife, my kids. Nobody wanted to be bothered with me. Nobody would hire me. And I just felt, you know, hopeless and just felt that, hey, I was just useless, you know? And I was like, you know, man, I, I gotta do something. I actually had a, uh, another soldier of mine who actually said, you know, there may be something wrong with you. Uh, your, your temper's very short, you become very isolated, you're not the same guy that I've known for six plus years. Um, and then you start to think back, you know, all, the, all the, the patients that you've had, you know, the questions that you've asked them, the things that you've been told to look out for, uh, just describe yourself. My son had just graduated from high school. I was gonna transfer my post 9-11 GI Bill to him. And I attended a seminar for veterans on how to apply the GI Bill to his program. A VA liaison named, well, Mr. Davis. And he, he took the opportunity knowing that he had an audience of veterans to, to just talk to them about the, um, <laughs> the VA program. <clears throat> the VA program, and he he listed on the board, you know, if if you if your life is heading down this, you know, he listed are you about to get divorced, you know, your finances are in trouble, are you drinking too much? He listed all these things on the board, and and just s sitting there, I um, I identified with everything on the board. I sat in on an orientation session with. I think it was 12 or 12 to 15 other military veterans. And um, I stood near the door because I was ready to leave after about 10 minutes. And um, as each person introduced himself and gave a bit of a scenario of some of the things they were going through in their life, I became more and more convinced. And I said to my mind, Oh my God, this is me. I have PTSD.